missing, I can't fuck with snakes. I ain't all the way back for my people, I pray I go I ain't. for fame. I'm finna turn up and get they ass a taste. I thought taste. I was global, they screaming my name. I'm everywhere like I'm the Chicago way. way. You want you want me to tell you want me, you want me to tell you something that I that I recently discovered in my interview with Kevin Nini when we talked what? about the jail shit. What she believes Lil J that before the video was out with Lil J that he was automatically gay because she's first seen him in a first off Nini is someone who's been in jail numerous of times. Okay. She, she's first seen Lil J in a yellow jumpsuit and a yellow jumpsuit means that you're in protective custody. This is where all the inmates who's not supposed to be in. The real jail at. They put them over here. But when you're wearing a green subs jumpsuit, that means that you are a registered, you are a set you a registered sex offender. Mm -hmm. Either you either got caught doing some freaky shit or you pulled your dick out on the guards. So Lil J was wearing a green jumpsuit from what she saw. King Von was not wearing a yellow or a green jumpsuit. So that means that he wanted to get a yellow jumpsuit and he said he wanted to do that dude. Due to his homosexuality, so does that. So for what I just gave you, for what Nini gave us to give you, does that make him gay? Yes or no? Again, I don't know how that jail shit go. Nini said she was locked up, so she know how it goes. So I don't know how you know. All right, bet. So you wouldn't say King Von is gay, right? No. All right, bet. So so since King Von is not gay, would if you if you you don't know how it works, but let's say hypothetically you was in jail, if you wanted to go to PC, would you do the same thing Von did? Yeah, some shit like that, dog. So King Von is not gay for what he said, but you would. But if you was in no, a hot dog jail, you wouldn't do the same thing he did. It's jail codes that they do. I don't know how to operate in that place. Like, oh. for him to say that. Oh. His life could have been in danger. They probably was trying to whoop him to death. Like, he had to say something to be switched. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But mm. to each is his own. Mm. Alright, and to summarize that, King Von is not gay because all he did was just say shit that was gay. Unlike Lil J, who supposedly had some actual physical attraction towards another man. Alright, that's that. That was a nice little game, would you agree? Yeah. Absolutely. Wanna play another game? What? Or you wanna get back to the questions? What do you wanna do? Uh. Your interview, you dictate it. We can answer the questions. Uh, of course, of course, of course. Now, uh, first of all, did you both enjoy that game? Yeah, we did. <laughs> all right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> and to give and to give you a grade as far as the homework, you both got a D plus. Dang! Hey, y'all, y'all didn't know a lot about these topics. I mean, you know about a handful of them, but it was a nice amount of topics you were supposed to know of, or, or could have had an idea. We got a D. Right. Hey, do do more homework on what's going on in the outside world. Y'all still passed the class though. But all right though. Now let's talk about some more shit here. <clears throat> now, you know, remember how we was talking about the female rappers and everything like that? Mm -hmm. Now check this out. When it comes down to today's era of female yeah. drill rappers and everything, women has always been told to rap about sex to get in the industry. But then later on, quick, good, good. all right. But then later on, fans, sometimes the celebrities or the industry itself, were complaining about how women only rap about sex, and that's how they blowing up and shit. Uh huh. But nowadays we got women who can literally blow up all drill rap, which is something very different for males than here. But even still, they always complain about how women is rapping about drill, saying lead it to the men and stay in the women's place. So let me ask you this. Is there anything wrong with how a woman is rapping for the industry or the music audience in general, yes or no? No. All right, bet. Since the answer is no. Oh, by the way, do you want to elaborate on your reason why I asked the question? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Because I feel like music is an expression. It's an art. I feel like rapping about killing or whether it's something sexual has been going on before our time, like the 90s and all of that. Like, is it music? Whether it's old time music, dusties or whatever, like them people was freaky old as hell back in the day. So we got like, I would say like, no. All right, babe. All right, now check this out. Since that's since the answer is, oh by the way, do you also agree with this thing? You also agree? Um. 
Yeah, I agree. All right, man. So, says the answer is no. Why are people always complaining with how women should rap? I just feel like this is my thing. Now that women are getting more exposure and like we the way, um, I see a lot of men like just talking down and just talking crazy. Like y'all got to fall back and just let the females have their time. It's been a long time coming mm -hmm. for females. It's already a male down the field. Like just be cool. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I just feel like they, they if someone be hating. Well, some be hating, you say? Yeah, they be hating. All right, bet. So, the fans should just deal with how women rap and decide if they like it or not? Absolutely, because you have, you. I say niggas in the summertime, um, Brad took on um, Glorilla Pimp. Like, so I like seen a lot of that shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. how y'all gonna do that? Like, and I see with male, males blasting Sassy Red. Yeah, absolutely. And I also see males blasting Lola Brooke. Absolutely. Males blasting Lotto. Males yeah. blasting Cardi B. Yeah. A whole person. lot. So, so that, that's in fact, is he, like, not, even just, like, not even just like the one that's mainstream. We still got those in Chicago. Katie okay, got bands. Yeah. Mellow Plus. Yeah. Players, you know, et cetera. It's a, lot, it's a long list of female rappers that still gets played by men. Mm -hmm. So I understand your perspective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now let me ask you a question that I love to hear opinions about. Mm -hmm. You know, in this segment, I like to call it... Rappers turn blogger. Now, we got people like FYB J Main. We got people like King Yellow. We got people like G Mac. We got people like Sixteen Shot. And these are people who was once rapping at one point in time. Uh -huh. But nowadays, these guys was rapping and then they turned into bloggers. So, would you ever become a blogger, yes or no? No. All right. Elaborate on, on your reason why. That ain't my thing. That ain't my field. That's not something I can see myself doing. I feel like... I know the reason why they doing it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like... If you a rapper, you actually, especially from Chicago, you get more info to tell as a blogger Based to, you know what I'm saying, having to do research and your homework on different things. Like the rap rappers that's been around other rappers, they already know what's going on, what happened in the trenches and everything. So they could really have like a lot of great topics and things and facts to reflect on. You got a lot of bloggers that be putting out false narratives and false information. So I feel like rappers like, you know what I'm saying, such like King Yella, if he want to reflect on what's going on within the Chicago drill, he can do that. Because... He's done his homework and he's been in it. Oh yeah, he literally is actually one of the people that is in it. Be to someone like Adam Twenty Two No Jumper gotta do his homework. Like you see what I'm saying? You get it? Yeah, that's like, what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? Can't get a love rap or you know, uh uh I don't uh I don't know if Sixteen Shot used to rap. He used to rap. He definitely used to rap. Oh, okay. Do your homework on Raheem Sixteen. <laughs> no, I'm and I'm Chad <laughs> No, do my homework, but um, I feel like you know now that you say like he rap and stuff. I feel like he he got more to uh to speak on the topics to reflect on mm -hmm. uh or due to the Chicago drill. So. All right, bet. You know we ain't even bring answer. First off, this is nigga. The first time we asked him about if he would be a blogger, he of course he said no. This man had the nerve to say. He said he feel like blogging is a female job. I wasn't the one who interviewed him. My associate did. So when I saw that, I was like, nigga, what the fuck? So I got with him for a part two, and I asked him about that. He broke down some shit about what it comes to the female, the female job of the blogger thing. Mm -hmm. He says there's he respects all hustles when it comes down to the, to the, to the blogging mm -hmm. for for rappers turned bloggers. But the thing is. These niggas are on the verge of blogging and becoming paparazzi. And sometimes they even say it's so much shit, it gets to the point where they're snitching. Yeah, saying holy shit. And, it's, and, and the last thing he said was like, the reason why my form of blogging is not a female job because what I do is just put out what other people say. I don't personally voice my opinion on this. These guys, they're blogging and they're vo voicing their opinions on the topics that they're speaking, that they're blogging about. Mm -hmm. and, some, and when they speak on it, it's either you're stalking these guys' life just to figure out something to put up and talk about, 
and you're just gonna say some th- shit that's gonna get somebody incriminated. Okay. So, <laughs> so, and and that's also part of the reason why I don't voice my opinion out there. So as far as Brick's reason of blogging, do you agree with what he's saying? If you, uh, to summarize what he's saying, if you are someone who was a gangster rapper or a drill rapper, you should not be blogging at all. Again, that goes back to what I just said. If you are a rapper or a drill rapper or any artist in Chicago and you go from rapping to blogging, I feel like there's nothing wrong with it. Why? Because you can actually really tell and reflect on what's going on based to have to do a lot of research behind things. And even, you know, as you on um, the Chicago way, like you in the city, so you would know, like, What's going on? You see what I'm saying? So I yeah. feel like it, it ain't nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong with it. All right, bro. It's nothing wrong with it. All right. Now let me see if I can twist your arm on this one. Since there's nothing wrong with it, you were rapping. And you've been rapping for a nice man, little minute here. Mm-hmm. Now let's say every song you make or put out there, you have achieved at least 25K from it. And now let's say you hypothetically start blogging. You're blogging. You make a good 75K out of it. 25K? 75k. Put it together, you make 100k. And this is just, let's say that one day. A month, for a whole month, you get like a, a whole month of rapping and blogging, mm-hmm. you make 500k. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, despite whatever you're rapping about and blogging about, the money is what's matters because this is what's, this is for you and your and your financial needs. And it's also helping you with whatever it is you want to do. So if you if you was to just be rapping and blogging, it's only just for the sake of the money, and it's, and you know what you're blogging about, what you're doing, would that be enough to convince you to change your mind about it? Or there's no such thing as convincing you to be a blogger. I say I'll, I'll be open to it. All right, all right. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. wouldn't be blogging because it's not your field. However, if the right amount of money was being being achieved from blogging, you would consider it. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you hear me? There we go. All right, there we go. There we go. Yeah. And I'm, all right, and I'm glad you're you're open minded to this. Yeah, your arm a bit. A <laughs> all right, I'm glad you're open minded to this. And that being said, take the time to just to, to, to sit on this topic. But all right, so let's move on. Mm-hmm. You know, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, we've been talking for like a good one hour and eleven minutes. Would you you want to take a little break here? Absolutely. All right, bet time to do a little interview, interlude, then wrap up this interview.